As a Char, one of the first enemies you encounter are members of the Flame Legion. But why is that? And why do they appear to be the only Legion that is hostile? Let's find out in this lore video on the Flame Legion. Years ago, the Char were ruled over by the Kanur, the one Char that ruled over the rest. After the latest Kanur's assassination, however, this ruling came on the four Legions. Blood Legion, Iron Legion, Ash Legion and Flame Legion. Around roughly 850 AE, one of the Flame Legion's warbands, the Burnt Warband, came upon the Titans. These were fiery servants of the deposed god Abaddon, which of course they didn't know. These Titans promised to char great power and magic in exchange for their worship. The Flame Legion happily obliged and were granted what was promised. The Shaman caste of the Flame Legion assumed control over the Char and used their magic to wreak havoc upon the human lands. When a Blood Legion soldier, Bathea Havocbringer, rebelled against the Flame Legion's dominion, she was sacrificed to the Char's new gods. After this, no females from the Blood Legion were allowed on the battlefield and in time, from any Legion. Around 1070 AE, the Flame Legion's power had grown so much that it looked like they would be able to reclaim the entirety of Ascalon. They were, however, humiliated as a group of adventurers defeated their gods and killed them in front of the Char Legion. With their gods defeated, the Flame Legion desperately sought for other beings of power to worship and eventually found this in the Great Destroyer, Herald for the Elder Dragon Primordus. This didn't last too long, however, as Pyre Fierceshot and Gwen the Goremonger defeated the Destroyers and the Char Hierophant, the Flame Legion's rule and religion suffering yet another massive blow. A third blow came in the form of the Foe Fire, killing the Flame Legion's Imperator at that time, having the Flame Legion even erase his name from the records for his failure to heed the warnings. In 1116 AE, Pyre Fearsoft's rebellion started to finally work and the three other legions banded together to overthrow the desperate Flame Legion. Despite it being three against one and having suffered major blows, the Flame Legion still held its own and was looking like it would win until Kalas Korchraiser, a female who had been training in secret along with others, joined the battle, turning the tide against the Flame Legion. The Flame Legion surrendered, though their Imperator struck Kala with a poisoned dagger, killing her. Forge Iron Strike, the treacherous Flame Legion Imperator, was executed for this vile act. The rest of the Flame Legion retreated into the Citadel of Flame, while the other legions focused on rebuilding. After this battle, Char society moved away from magic and towards mesotheism and technology. Now in 1325 AE, however, it looks like the Flame Legion has grown nearly as strong once more and is poised to retake the control they used to have over the Char. If you enjoyed this lore video on Guild War II's Flame Legion, make sure to check out my other lore videos and subscribe if you haven't yet. Take care my friends, bye bye.